Hello everybody, I'm Christopher from This China Germany and today I want to show you how to flash the TechLast P98 Air with my custom ROM I created for this device to make it run fluent. And we will do this a little easier than the usual way today um, because the usual way is to a flash tool and you need to install drivers for that and that's probably too complicated for some of you. So what we're doing is that it is using a bootable SD card to flash the image on the Tech last P98 Air. So you need mainly three files for the following steps which you find in the video description and one of those files is the tool Phoenix card. So you download all these files, unzip the tool Phoenix card, you see this folder here, you get lots of files here, make sure to open the Phoenix card application, it will ask you for admin rights and then you will present it with this window. What you also need is a micro SD card with at least 16 GB capacity, which I've plugged in already and chosen here. It's the drive E in my case. And inside the tool you click on EMG file after choosing your micro SD card, which you have put inside your computer, and select my custom ROM, which is called P98 Air GIS ROM version 2 final. And once you've done so, make sure write mode is set to product and then you click the burn button and then it will burn the custom ROM onto the micro SD drive, which you can then use inside the tablet for flashing the same. So you simply need to wait until this is done. It doesn't take that long. Once it's done, it says magic complete. So simply wait and we'll meet again on the other end. So here I am back again with the micro SD card we just burned and now you need to make sure that you turned your TechLast P89, P98 Air I'm sorry, off completely. It needs to be completely shut down so no fastboot or something enabled. If you worry about it not being turned off completely just press the power button for about 10 seconds and then it will turn off and it is off. So what we are doing now is to insert the micro SD card into the card reader of the tablet and then turn the tablet PC on. And now you will see a green bar telling you that the flashing process has started and you simply wait until this is done, then fire up your tablet PC again, set up your Google account and then we will meet again. Okay guys, so I have now set up the tablet PC again, have set up my Wi-Fi connection and my Google account and now I am inside the Google Play Store and you need to do this that as well. Um, simply install the ES File Explorer, search for it, open it up, click on install and accept and wait till this is done. And what you also need to do is to pull the root zip file onto your tablet PC. Um, now I'm doing this through a USB stick on which I've put the file. ES File Explorer is installed by now, so let's open that up. Choose um, local, USB host and then copy the P98 Air root zip file from this USB stick to the internal SD card. I am choosing the root folder of the SD card and click on paste and boom, this is done. Let's eject the USB thumb drive again. And now we have to flash this root zip file to get root access on the tablet PC. So that's fairly simple. You simply search for the update application of TechLast. You see this here, that's the blue icon with the arrow on top, which says update, you click on that. Then you press the Chinese button on the right. This will prompt you with a little file explorer. You hit SD card and then choose the P98 Air root zip file we just copied on the device. Then you click on update and wait till this thing is done, it will reboot now, then enter the recovery mode, flash the zip file, reboot again and then we are inside the system and well I will do a little cut now and we will see again after the flash process has completed.
Okay guys, here yeah, I'm back again. The tablet is rooted now and what you have to do now is to hit the forum topic linked in the video description where my written tutorial of uh, flashing my custom ROM is posted. That's on gischina.de. Once you are inside this topic, um, scroll down a little bit until you see this piece of code. Now what you have to do is to copy that code Make sure you copy everything. Here we go. You hit copy and then close your browser. Open up ES File Explorer. Then here in the sidebar, click on Tools and Root Explorer. Tap that to on. Wait till the root notification pops up. Click on Grant. Yes, we want to give this application root access. And now you go to the root folder of your system. Look for a folder called system, click on it. Look for a folder called etc, click on it. Then go a little down and here you will see a file called install recovery.sh. Click on it, click on text and click on ES node editor. And now you will see the contents of this files. Now we want to paste this piece of code inside of there. So we have to tap on this menu button, click on edit. Now we do put the cursor here after instead, hit enter two times, then a long tab onto the space you created and click on paste. So now we have the whole piece of code that we just copied inside of this file and then we hit the back button on top of here, confirm with yes and now it will save the file. Now in case you haven't been able to save the file and get an error message that this wasn't possible, please go to your super user management application which you find here on the home screen, it's this little icon, click on it and it will prompt you to update the super user binary. Do that, but don't reboot after this, instead click on forget for ES file explorer so it will delete the root access for this application. Then go to system settings, go to applications, choose ES file explorer and delete all the data of it. And next you're gonna reboot your tablet PC. So once you've rebooted the tablet after you got this error message and done everything I said to you before, you just do these steps again. You copy the whole code in the forum topic open up your ES file explorer click on tools give the application root access current root access go back to the root folder of the tablet system etc then to install recovery.sh text es node editor it did and you place again the cursor after instead hit enter two times and enter the code right before the line system xbin demon su auto demon. So and then you click back, save yes, and then it should save. So once you have edited the file successfully and saved it and make sure that the changes really have been saved, reboot your tablet PC and then the ROM is basically done, then you're done. The performance will be pretty good then. Um, now the last thing we need to do is to verify the changes we've just made to the file um, to see if they are really working. Um, for this, this is pretty simple. Um, you open up your Google Play Store and install the application CPU set. Here we go. Click on install, accept. Not this installed, simply open it up. And now have a look at the processor cores. We are seeing four A7 cores here, which are CPUs 0 to 3. And we see the A15 cores, which are the CPU cores 4 to 7. And as you can see, we have now constantly 
two cores of the A7 cores and two cores of the A15 cores active. They aren't stopping anymore. Now, of course, this is going onto the battery a little bit, um, but this is important for getting a smooth performance. As, as you can see, we are not in performance mode right now. We are in the normal mode, but the tablet is running pretty smooth. Um, considering that we are in normal mode. You can even play Dead Trigger 2 smoothly here now. Um, it's very snappy. And of course, if you want to get a lot of performance for gaming, honestly, you don't really need that with uh, this little mod. But if you really need um, the world performance the AADT can give you, you simply click here on speed mode and it will reboot to speed mode. And then only the A15 cores will be used and the A7 cores only if the A15 cores are fully loaded. And this will you give you another big performance boost, but it will suck the battery empty in no time. So I recommend you to stay in normal mode all the time while using the tablet because it's well performing in this case and in my opinion, it's totally enough. As you can see here, everything is running very, very smooth now. Um, so that is that is how you install my custom ROM and how you do the final customizations and get root access on it. As you can see, it's pretty simple. You just have to follow these little steps. Um, so I guess pretty much anyone can do that, but of course, not everyone. Everyone wants to do it, as I said in the review of this tablet. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it was understandable for you. Um, I had a few technical issues in between, which made me do a little more cuts than I expected. I hope um, that didn't destroy the overall um, tutorial here. So again, I hope you enjoyed it and you understood it. If you have any questions, um, make sure to drop them below the video in the comments or um, raise your voice inside our forum. So thanks for watching and see you soon.